Hello, Winslow. I'm Colton Hazelwood. And I'm Elena Lachance, and you're watching Tiger TV News. On this edition of Tiger TV News, we take a dive into the worlds of media and education. Myself and other reporters on the Tiger TV News crew caught up with several students to see if their interests connect with the classes they take at Waynesville Career Center. Good morning, Waynesville. I'm Colton Hazelwood, and this is Tiger TV News. People influenced by media? I believe so. We managed to borrow three students to tell us about their classes and how media influenced them. Well, uh, I'm a big movie watcher, and uh, I think one of the most influential movies of my time was The Matrix. Uh, the absolutely favorite movie of mine. And uh, the main character, uh, Neo, he's, he's a master coder. And he gets trapped in this world of all this computer stuff. And I think that was what really inspired me to join CIT. Movies aren't just the only media that influenced others to join classes at WCC. Dalton got his inspiration from YouTube. Uh, a media that has influenced me a lot, actually, is Linus Tech Tips. He's a YouTuber. He does PC component reviews and full desktop build step-by-step -step guides. He sometimes does laptops and phones as well, but mostly just components and desktops. It doesn't even have to be professional. Even the most famous type of media, social media, influences students. I joined cosmetology because I like doing hair and makeup and designing outfits. It's just fun. Um, social media that influenced me was like Instagram and Snapchat when random videos just pop up on your timeline. They're fun to watch. Well, there you have it. We have learned that media of many kinds have influenced students to join classes. This is Colton Hazelwood from Tiger TV News signing off. I know for a fact that television influenced me to be working behind the scenes and in front of the camera here at Tiger TV. Thank you to all the students who volunteered to be part of this story. We're going to take a quick commercial break and stay, be right back with Tiger TV News. Stay tuned. Garrett as a kid was just the funniest kid you would ever come across. Everything he did, he did it to make other people happy and make other people laugh. But as he got older, music consumed his life. My dad bought him a drum set and he played it every single day. It's hard. They need somebody there, and sometimes it's hard to be there for them. Seeing somebody that you've had your whole life go through this, just something that I can't even describe. Drugs don't just kill people. They kill families, too. Everyone should always learn something new, whether it's a new word, a new fact, or a new technique. Tiger TV special correspondent, Dr. Lickenbot, is here to give you a helping hand with changing a tire in preparation for the winter weather. It's Dr. Professor Lickenbot. That's me. Uh, are we rolling? Yes. You did? Yes. Hey, kids. Welcome to Tiger TV News. I'm How To. I'm Dr. Lickenbot. I'm going to show you how to change a tire. Tires are cool. Look at it. Okay, you're going to need an L. And a jack. I don't see a jack here. I don't think he's here yet. Some guy. I that, that is the jack, Lincoln bought. That's the that that's the jack. You trying to tell me how to run my show and I know what a jack is? This is my show, Lincoln bought. Now we we gotta take this this letter seven and we're gonna loosen this. Long time, how long I've been, how long have I been doing that? <laughs> well, my producer just told me that due to the time constraints, uh, we can't put the tire back on because we don't have time. So that's why. It's basically the same thing as putting it back on. It's just watch the video backwards. You can well, some cars don't come with spares, they come with earplugs. But do it at a time, like I said. You just gotta do it the old manual way. 
Back to you, Linda. It's Dr. Professor Licking Butt. That's me! Uh, my name isn't Linda. Anyway, we're gonna kick it over to our weather segment with our weather woman, Isla Marie, so she can give us the rundown of the week. Thanks, Colton. Let's take a look at our weather forecast. Today we'll see some rain with a high of 42 degrees and a low of 33. Looking ahead the rest of the week, daytime temperatures will range from the high 30s to mid 40s. At night, temperatures will drop into the high 20s. Most of the week we'll see cloudy and partly cloudy skies, but we shouldn't have any precipitation. And that's your weather. I'm Isla, back to the news desk. In the next segment, Class Act, we're going to pass it back to Isla Marie with Chef Dye. There's something sizzling in the kitchen. Let's find out what it is. Hello, my name is Isla Marie, and today in Class Act, I got to go down to make breakfast castle with Chef Dye. And this is how it turned out. Okay, we're going to use 18 eggs, three pounds of sausage, okay, three cups of cheddar cheese, six slices of bread, and six whole cups of milk. All right, so to start with, okay, we're going to give our eggs a bit of a whip. Okay, so we're going to put that in our mixing bowl. Okay, we're going to use our whisk. We're going to go ahead and add our salt and pepper. Head muscles like this for culling, for cooking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you thought lugging around this camera and stuff was hard. Okay, keep mixing. Let's add some more seasoning. What do you think? It's got to have a good flavor to it. So a little bit of ground thyme. Basically what we got, we got three ingredients we got left to put in. Okay, we got our bread, we got our sausage, we got our cheese. We really don't need to mix the bread in here. We're going to put half the bread, we're going to put those in our containers. Okay, but we do have to mix in our cheese. Okay, so we're going to pour that in. Set this over there with our dishes. Watch the knife, please. Thank you. And we're going to go ahead and add that sausage you worked so hard on. Okay, all right. Little cooking spray. You want to make sure you do the sides first. All right. So we're gonna put half of our bread in. You can handle these. Cool. All right. <laughs> what happens to bread when it gets wet? It gets soggy. <laughs> it gets soggy. But what does it do when it gets soggy? breaks apart. It expands. Yeah. It gets bigger. When it gets moist, it kind of swells up. Okay. And that's exactly what we want to happen here. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our sausage and egg and milk and cheese mixture. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to mix that bread the eggs, all that together. Real good. Our breakfast casserole. What I like to do is we're gonna cover this with some plastic wrap, put a label on it, okay? We're gonna put it in the refrigerator and we're gonna let it sit overnight, okay? Um, and then we'll get it out early in the morning, a couple hours beforehand, put it in at like a nice 325 degrees and let it cook real slow. That's going to make sure that all of the um, uh, juices and things get a chance to cook into it. Um, and then uh, take it out and serve it to our hardworking JROTC kids that are going to be competing tomorrow at the drill meet. So. Elena, what's something good that happened to you today? Well, I found a dollar in my pocket. That's terrific. Let's keep the good vibes going with the Tell Me Something Good segment. Lily Harmon has the coverage. I'm Lily Harmon reporting with you from Tiger TV News and today we have a segment called Tell Me Something Good. Tell me something good. I got paid. I'm expecting. My dog's pregnant. I'm gonna be a grandma. The school play is today. I aced my math test today. Well, something good that happened to me recently was a, an event that my middle daughter had. Um, her name's Caitlin, and she had a art feature with a Friday Art Walk in Springfield, Missouri. I made this for my big brother in commercial printing. Yeah. <laughs> I got a new car. 
Well, I got 100 on my test the other day. Thank you everyone that participated in this segment of Tell Me Something Good. I'm Lily Harmon reporting with you from Tiger TV News. Back to you. It's finally time to showcase our film fest. Alexander Madal, as director, creates a thought-provoking story that is comical but yet enlightening, so make sure to pay attention to the storyline. Now premiering, Alcohol Travels to the Future. Ah, here we are. The future. This is my room. Yep, and that is you right over there. Don't worry, he can't, he can't see us. I don't look so good. I still hang out with my buddy, right? Uh, why would you want to hang out with that buddy of yours when you got your old pal buddy Wiser? What is that he's holding up? It's a ticket for drinking and driving. Ah, uh, that's nothing. I bet the policeman who gave you that ticket was hammered himself. Yeah, I don't know about this. No, come on. Don't whine about it. You know all that money you earn by doing your old puppet career? You won't need to do that anymore now that you got me around. Oh, and you do have a sister, don't you? Imagine if she got bottled out. It's Miller time. Well, I'm just about out of time. Let's head back. Well, this is going to wrap up the first edition of Season 9. My name is Elena Lachance. And I'm Colton Hazelwood. Have a tremendous start to your week, and we'll see you next time right back here on Tiger TV News.